The plugins in this video are all-in-one solutions, where you only need one plugin to basically do all of your mastering needs. We will compare Waves Abbey Road TG Mastering Chain, Acoustica Howie Weinberg Mastering Console, Brainworks Mastering Desk, and Isotope Ozone 9. These four plugins widely differ in how they operate and where they are intended for. You know, apples and oranges. So you can see this video as a buyer's guide as well. Now next up are the results I got after doing some mastering with each of the plugins. Here's an untreated loud rock track. And let's start with Ozone 9. Right now you have a difference between the plugins, but let's tweak some parameters with each of the plugins and see if we can get them closer. First Ozone 9, let's add some low end. This already changes a lot. Now let's go over the rest and tweak where needed. First let me check them all. You can hear that every one of these plugins really can come closer to each other sound-wise. And exactly this makes it harder to do a sound comparison. If you know what you are doing, you can get really good results with each of these plugins. For instance, the Brainworks sounded a bit muffled at first, but I reduced the low end and raised the gain, and now it is in the same ballpark as the rest. Now what it will come down to with these plugins, in my opinion, is features and what you actually need and what audio you are using it on. The Waves Abbey Road TG Mastering has a lot of bells and whistles. There are four modules and the last three can be switched in order to give you more flexibility like EQ before or after compression. The tape equalizer has a large impact on the sound. So start with this or bypass it. Each module has an advanced setting which basically comes down to have individual controls for both channels which can be left right or mid side. EQ 
module has a solo band option to pinpoint the frequencies you're working on. The Dynamics module has a highlight for me in combination with the input tape. You can really saturate the sound and blend it in and you already get a lot of vibe like this. That Dynamics module has an advanced mode, also a very sweet, very adjustable sidechain. So you can really dial in how the compression will react. The plugin also has a filter section. And stereo with enhancements. To keep it complex, here's the Acoustica Howie Weinberg Mastering Console plugin. First thing you will see is that the user interface is cluttered. And this is really my biggest complaint about the plugin. The user friendliness is somewhat lacking with the use of labeling and cramped look, especially on high resolution screens. But the sound is more than excellent. Acoustica samples hardware gear and each of these settings needs to be loaded in. This does take some time, so quick changes is not really happening with the Howie Weinberg plugin. For left, right or mid side channels, you can have two bands at the same time and you can switch between four frequency ranges to dial in the area you want to work on. The sound of the EQ is very musical and pleasing. The boosts or cuts can go up to 9 decibels, which is more than enough for mastering. The compressor allows for full control of every parameter you need and you can choose from 4 variations like germanium, optical and silicon which all do sound different. You have filter options as well, a limiter and clipper which can really make your limiting sound more transparent. There's auto gain individual oversampling options, analog to digital and the other way around converter emulations which will affect sound, many routing options and more. The Acoustica Howie Weinberg Mastering Console really is all you want in an analog style working environment paired with that excellent sound. When you start out this plugin may be overwhelming, you do need an understanding of how everything affects the sound. Brainworks BX Master Desk is a breath of relief in contrast. Few controls, straightforward. Foundation is a sort of tilt EQ with which you set the overall tonality to more high-end or low-end focus. The TMT compressor switches are four different compressor settings and sounds. Simply click around until you have found the best settings for you. You can dial in this compressor with the compressor mix dial. Here below are four tone dials to quickly change some bass, mids or high frequencies. Hey. 
not really flexible, it can be just right for you. The plugin also offers a DSO, which is handy, a THD dial, which will increase harmonics, so that fattens up the sound and reduces transients. Last but not least are the resonant filters, which will boost a certain frequency, but also cleans up audio around it. This sounds very Poltec to me. Where to start with Ozone 9? Well, by using the Master Assistant function. This will analyze your audio and after you have made some choices on how the master should sound, Ozone 9 will adjust your mix automatically. From here you can adjust just like I did earlier in the video with the low end. You can do that either in the modules which have been added or add one of the many other available modules yourself. There are so many to choose from and all are very tweakable. Some like the master rebalance will give you a very easy way to quickly change the balance in your master. while others will give you very in-depth control. You can see that there's a set of normal plugins and vintage plugins, which will give you a lot of versatility in sound. Ozone 9 also offers some handy tools to check your audio like loading in a reference track and codec previews so you can hear how your master will sound on the many streaming platforms. Now Ozone 9 is also a sort of a plugin suite. Each of the modules is available as a separate plugin as well. This is a huge versatile option and will make that Ozone 9 can also be very useful outside of mastering as well. Now you might prefer one over the other and that is perfectly fine. Sound wise for me the Acoustica Howie Weinberg sounds most open and, with a lack of a better word, most pro. The interface for me is somewhat too cluttered and user friendliness is a factor if you want to use a plugin more often. Ozone 9 sounds like everything. Without a doubt, Ozone is the most versatile, from fast and quick results to in-depth tweaking and adjusting. It's the most suited for anything you throw at it. Ozone 9 is straightforward to use and you have a couple of different versions of it to suit your needs and budget. Brainworks BX Mastering is the simplest to use and will give you good results quickly. Waves Abbey Road is the one which has the most sound of all, and it is a bit more sensitive for the audio material you use it on. It's also a bit more involved to use, and that sidechain filter is great and very useful. Now to check if your master is loud enough, you will need a proper tool as well. Watch the video which is displayed on screen and linked in the description for that.